I'm here on Sequoia and Cochrane, where this power pole project is underway. Take a look behind me, and you can see the workers here on site. But the big question is, why now? Good afternoon. I'm Crystal Fisher in the Newswatch newsroom. Coming up this afternoon, a beauty contest you won't believe. I'm Crystal Fisher in downtown L.A., where celebrities come out for drag queens. More on that story coming up. Jay, police have captured a ring of thieves targeting small businesses in North Hollywood. One of the gunmen actually got out of the car and chased Arias to this point. Plus, a police standoff in North Hollywood. Those stories and more later today. Good afternoon. I'm Crystal Fisher in the Newswatch newsroom. A gangland murder tops the news at this hour. The shooting left a 22-year-old man dead and a community in fear. Adriana Roses played hours at this makeshift memorial in Jefferson Park. It's where her boyfriend of two years, Moises Arias, was shot to death last night. Roses always feared this would happen. He was good. You know, he might be a gangbanger or whatever, but he was a good guy. He was known by everybody. <laughs> The shooting took place around 6 p.m. on the 2800 block of South Brunson Avenue. Police say two men in a black Acura approached Arias, confronted him, then shots were fired. Detectives say they have a pretty good idea of why this happened. Detectives believe this could be gang related. One of the gunmen actually got out of the car and chased Arias to this point, where he was trapped between two parked cars and shot at point blank range. I been shot him a couple of times, came around with my brother's truck and shot him again. Residents say they are terrified of the growing violence in the neighborhood. This man even feared being on camera. It's sad to see another young life it's taken away by violence. Can you tell me how you felt last night? I mean, like, sick all night. I, I, didn't, I couldn't go to sleep. You know, it's just like, it's awful. If you know anything about the shooting, call police at 1-877-LAWFUL. In other news, the stars are shining bright in the fight against AIDS. Celebrities became judges in one of the most unusual beauty pageants you'll ever see. Take a look at these glamorous girls. Now look a little closer and you'll see they're actually men, all dolled up for a contest called Best in Drag Show, which will be judged by celebrities like Charlie Sheen. We're looking for originality. We're looking for uh, the, the, the contestants that went the extra yard to do something a little different, to do something a little crazier. This year, the fundraiser is being held at the Orpheum Theater in downtown L.A. The goal is to raise money for the Aid for AIDS Foundation, which gives more than 90% of its proceeds to families affected by the virus. The organization began in the 80s as a small gathering of friends. Now, it's drawing A-list stars like Kathy Griffin. How will you be judging tonight? Well, I will be judging on a level of fabulousness, who's willing to go there, and hopefully we won't have what we call a girl down. And that's when one of the girls falls off her heels, and it's a long fall off those eight-inch platforms. And what will you be looking for? Uh, I'll be looking for poise, whatever that is. What is poise? Uh, is it grace? No, it's poise. It's a whole different word. But that's what I'll be looking for. Now, this obviously isn't your typical fundraiser, but they do raise a lot of money all in one night. Last year, the uh, Best in Drag show brought in almost $250,000, which is just simply amazing. So I'm hoping for even better tonight because the theater is larger. This year, there were actually more than 500 new participants, and the number keeps growing. And the best part is, it's a lot of fun. And it's friends getting together and supporting each other. And what do you hope to do inside this evening? Have fun. Have a good time. Scream for all the contestants. Everybody's a winner. The winner of this year's event was Miss South Carolina. That's going to do it for tonight. Thanks for watching Newswatch. I'm Crystal Fisher, and you have a good night. Jay, police have captured a ring of thieves targeting small businesses in North Hollywood. Police say this is the mastermind. He and three other suspects were captured by police after a standoff in a North Hollywood apartment complex. Police say they robbed six different businesses in the area. They were right next door to me. The suspects were all booked on felony robbery charges. From the Newswatch newsroom, I'm Crystal Fisher.